Hello everyone, it's Zork Rider here and welcome to another video and I've been buying stuff again and of course I have because I've got nothing else to do uh, than to browse the internet and buy toys um, because I'm stuck in with all what's going on. I've had another Corona cut as you can see um, and I think it is the side to be honest, I don't think it looks too bad so uh, I think I'll be saving a bit of money moving forward uh, on that. Um, so I've bought a few items, I've got a few more that are due to come. Um, one I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and yeah, so the first uh, parcel arrived on Thursday the 14th, which happened to be my son's birthday. Um, so I didn't really have a chance to open it up, but I have opened it up today. And uh, here it is. It is Black Series Yoda for Spirit. Now, your eyes aren't deceiving you, you're not paying for a, a completely transparent figure or an empty box. It's because I've opened it. <laughs> so I picked up this. Um, I do tend to hold on to the boxes for the special edition ones, and this is one that hasn't got a number. Um, and here he is. Um, it's quite a cool figure. Um, I think... <sighs> so the issue with... Not the issue with him, but he's... His colouring looks slightly off, even on camera, and, and in person from certain angles, but it's how you photograph this thing with certain light that actually makes it look like a ghost. I mean, his, his hand's clear, you can see that his legs are, are clear, um, this mesh is a shiny mesh, and uh, his face is more like, um, more like a metallic blue. I think it works, I think it's a good little figure. Um, not worth the 20 odd quid. I suppose him and uh, R2-D2 in the same boat. But at least there's a bit more to this character from a design point of view than R2. Uh, but this one was, as I say, was 22 quid. Now, why didn't I just get the uh, 40th anniversary figure? Um, I think I mentioned it before. It's because there is a, a normal version of Yoda coming with Luke in a Dagobah set, which actually is a newer sculpt. And I didn't see the point of having two of the same sculpts. And I think this would look cool. Maybe in my um, uh, The Last Jedi uh, with a uh, little display, if I even decide to do one, with um, Old Man Luke. Um, so, yeah. So, I picked up uh, a little Yoda figure. And he's cool. Then today, um, another parcel came. I opened it up. And uh, I'm really chuffed. Um... The first item is uh, Hoth Rebel Trooper, uh, well, Rebel, Rebel Soldier. Uh, now, I was on the fence with this guy, and I was going to wait until next month. But knowing my luck, they will be out of stock come next month, and I'll end up paying more than what I, uh, what I anticipated to pay. Well, this was about, what, 18 quid, 19 quid. It's actually gone up by a pound on Kapow, I think. I'm sure it was 17 99 but anyway, nevertheless... Uh, this figure, um, I wanted it, so I, I've pulled the trigger on it. And the cool thing is about this figure, and I, I keep, um, well, I was trying to tell Dave Shotton about it, but I don't, I don't think I was being very clear on text messages, is um, that there are 18 different looks for it, I think. I think Mike Class, who I, I love, one of my favourite Star Wars reviewers, um, he was saying that there's like 18 combinations. There's two different faces. The face is actually hidden in the backpack. Um, so the backpack actually has a purpose. So you take the backpack off, there's a little um, little folding door on it and there's an extra head in there. You can put the scarf down, scarf up, the goggles are elastic so they can come off. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different combinations you can have. Um, I picked up the one. Um, and again, chatting to Dave Shotton about it. The normal rule with these things is you buy three. There's three refractors, there's three shark decons I bought. Fair enough, they were slightly different. I think with this, I'm going to dive into one more if there's one available and I'm buying something else from a retailer. Uh, for example, if I'm buying something for like, I don't know, to book the post, um, to either get rid of the postage cost or to, or to make the postage worthwhile. I definitely want the two because I want the two different faces. Um, so I think I'm going to go and pull the trigger on another one. Maybe next month. I'm not in a rush. Um, but yeah, so... I'm really, really excited by um, all the Hoth stuff. I mean, I love that R2... Uh, R2 Luke Skywalker figure uh, I picked up uh, last week, this week, whatever it was. The review went up uh, yesterday, anyway. Um, and I, I am going to get some more um, uh, Hoth 
Um, figures, and I do want a Hoth display. If I only have one Star Wars display, it is going to be the Hoth display. So I'd like a couple of these figures. Um, and to go on that display, I also picked up this. This is the Imperial Pro Droid. Uh, now, I was gutted about this. Is that I actually got it for about twenty seven ninety nine, which in itself is cheap from Kapow. Um, but um, the day after I ordered it, they put some on there that were damaged and were reduced to twenty two quid. And I'm, I'm not going to keep the box anyway. Um, I was on the fence about it. Um, I've heard it's it's okay. It's pretty decent, uh, but it, there's not much to it. But I didn't want to pay the light tax on it. Um, every, one thing I'm learning about this Star Wars um, Black Series collecting, uh, if there's a figure that you might want later, you best off buy it now because you could always sell it on. And that was the, the thing with both of these things. I probably, If I knew they would be in stock next month, I would have waited. But the risk is that I'd, I'd miss out on them. So at least I've got them both. And this is a deluxe figure, as I say. It comes with a clear stand. Um, it is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and that is it. So I have got two, three, three, two, 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 two what? Can't count. Um, worse than time, I? Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got three parcels on the way. Three parcels on the way. And I'll let you into a little bit of a secret about one. Um, there's a guy, Mr. Cyberdyne, uh, on, um, Instagram, who liked one of my Luke Skywalker in his snow speeder get up, uh, video, uh, videos, um, photographs I put up there, and, uh, he said, would I begin the snow speeder? I'm that close away from pre-ordering it. It is my birthday next month, so I think that might be a thing I buy myself for my birthday. Yes, I know Scorpinox around the corner. Yes, I know Skylinks is around the corner. Um, I will get those. Um, but I think next month, I think I'm going to get myself the snow speeder. I think I'm going to put it off on my birthday. And that's going to be the centrepiece of my display. Um, but he said to me, oh, yeah, uh, he need, uh, He said, oh, you're getting the snow speeder. I said, oh, I don't know. It's, it's a space where to put it. He went, yeah, I know. I was the same with... Uh, with the TIE Fighter. <laughs> so that... <laughs> so that made me have a look on eBay. And I saw, I saw a few on there. And I started to watch them. As you do. And there was one on there for... I think it was 65 quid. And the guy made me an offer for 50. Um, and... I thought... Do I want this? Don't I want this. I want to focus on Empire, but this is a cool piece. If I get it for the right price, I'll be happy. So I cheekily offered 35 quid, and he counted back 40. And I was chatting to Dave Shotton at the time, he said it's huge and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And I said, well, I'll let folk decide I'll offer 38 quid and see if he accepts it. And for something that was listed for 64 99 I've ended up buying the bloody thing uh, for 38 quid. Um, which in itself like, is a great price and everything like that. And the way I look at it, I was going to buy the TIE Fighter Pilot anyway. And it's exactly the same figure This that comes with the um, the First Order X-Wing. And it'd be a cool piece. I mean, God knows where I'm going to put it. Uh, I don't really know how big it is, but I know it's big. Um... So yeah, I dived in and I bought that, didn't I, like a fool. But I'm sure you'll enjoy me opening it up and all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Zort Rider, and until next time, I'll uh, catch you again soon.